Hi, I'm Jay Z. I'm Jaden. I'm uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not. Sure. I'm not sure. <laughs>
out of the two of us, who's got the better goal celebration? Um, I think we, we should be. I think we should be terribly honest. Here. Terribly honest. Like okay. terribly honest. Um, I've got quite a few pictures of my my celebrations. I've mixed them up as well. I've got a few. Um, I'm quite renowned for my 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 celebrations and my can my you, pictures. Can you give us a demonstration of one of your your most like most recent celebration? That one you've of done? my. Do you wanna hold the microphone? Yeah, hold the mic. So recently I've been doing this one because um, we had a we have a joke running in the 23s that I don't really talk a lot. Um, I let my football do the talking. Um, so yeah, uh, that's one of my my celebrations that I do. Uh, so I, mean, I really like I can, that one. I'd probably say, obviously, him being an attacking player, he's got some good celebrations. I'm more of the backup dancer, so whenever he scores a goal, I've probably put on a plate for him. So, yeah, I've seen, um, seen the, the other day you scored uh, a brace, a lovely brace, and you had a little yeah. celebration. Do you want to demonstrate it for yeah, the, yeah, the fans of um, FC Bournemouth? So obviously, as you may know, uh, Patrick Banford currently does this for whatever he's doing it for. But me myself, um, my name's Jay Z, Jordan Zamora. So, you know, it's a Z. So I just want to clarify, you copied your goal celebration, so it's not yours. Next question. Did you ever consider giving up the game after getting released? No, like never. I didn't think any time in my, like obviously after like, like getting that like, go by when I was at Charlton and like being told I wasn't going to get off the new contract, it was tough of course. And there was a period of time around two weeks where like, it was really how much do you want it? How much do you like, how much do you want to be a professional footballer? And I think like, I remember being told by coaches at the club like this might be the best like this might be a blessing in disguise for you maybe this is what you needed. But obviously at, at start it's hard to it's hard to take it in. It's really hard to like think like why don't they want me and stuff like that. Obviously being at that club for so long, but you can only like you can you can never lose love for the game because it's something that you've been doing since you were so young. So I think it not lo lost love. I think it gave me more love. It gave me more passion. It made me feel like when I'm back in it, I'm not gonna look back again. Like. That was my flat, one of many setbacks, but that was a big setback. So it was one of those situations where it sort of gave me more confidence and more arrogance to be like, next time I get to a place, I'm not going to look back. I'm just going to keep on pushing and keep on going forward. And obviously uh, coming to a club like this, it sort of gave me the platform to perform, gave me the platform to like find out my weaknesses and like understand to myself that I need to be better in certain situations. And I still need to be better in certain situations. So like, I'm constantly developing and I couldn't couldn't say couldn't thank the club any for as much as they've done for me. Yeah. Very heartwarming that one, wasn't yeah, it? That was really yeah. To any kids watching this, um, keep going. Keep going. No, don't mean nothing. Out of the four horsemen, who would you choose to spend Christmas with? You know uh, who the four horsemen are. Yeah. All right. Be honest. The vibes, so you know. for anyone that don't know, the four horsemen are myself, obviously Jay Z. Nandi and Gav, you know, we've we spent a lot of time together um, over the re well over the course we've been at the club, but especially recently, now that we're all like in and around the first team environment, all of you, but Nandi, because you know I, I've been with him since I came to the club since the first day. I, I remember I was living with him for the first three years. I know him very well. Our parents know each other. Our families know each other. So yeah, no, um, definitely. But. Like I say, um, you all, of us yeah, it could be any. I wouldn't. I'd love to spend a Christmas with you guys, and you know, it would be a, a good laugh. He's not invited to my Christmas do so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, definitely. Nah, that's a good. That's, uh, good that's a who would you answer? I think you'd choose me, but um, after that, I don't think I can now, just for my pride. <laughs> but yeah, now I'll probably have to choose Jaden. So yeah. What's been the standout moment for you so far this season? Oh been a great season for you, hasn't it? It's been all right so far, to be fair. Obviously, against Crystal Palace, when I was fortunate enough to make my debut and start in that game against such a good team as in Crystal Palace were. And obviously, being like 20 at the time, you can only thank the gaffer for giving me the opportunity to play. Smashing a penalty in the bottom corner. If you've seen the pen, you know, <laughs> smash it in the corner. It. Yeah, and then obviously winning that game, just that uh, it's everything that I wanted my sort of like debut to be. It was definitely the debut, you know. It was a it was a crazy day because it was. Um, it was your birthday that yeah, day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was my twenty first birthday. Um, nice. Yeah, not really proud moment. Obviously, it was a disappointing that we couldn't get the win, but yeah, coming on, I remember the gaffer calling me and saying to be ready and stuff, and um, yeah, no, I was just raring to go really, and luckily I I had a good moment during that game, and definitely was the best moment for me during during the season. Yeah. Last question. Last question of the day. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice addition. It says, 
talk about Jaden's goal at West Ham in pre-season. Oh, of course you like that question. I love it. Of course you like it. I can only say like the amount of repetition and practice that he's done on that on that same specific shot. When you cut inside, you just know that like, oh yeah, this is me. I'm just gonna open it up, bend it into the top corner. You know, the rest is the history. Or was it more like? I don't know. Was you sort of thinking about it more? No, I, I wasn't thinking in the time. Obviously, it's it's. I think a lot of players would say you know when you're playing, they're sort of free. You don't really think too much. Yeah. Um, that one. Yeah, like you like you touched on. Uh, I've worked on that shot for the whole time I've been at the club so um, it's a shot that I, I get a lot of times during the season I always have this conversation with one of the staff I, I, I see, always seem to be in that position and you know um, it wasn't new to me I'm just happy that you know I could I could put out what I've been doing in training and in other games as well previous you know in that environment and it was a, a very proud moment it was a crazy day um, it's been it's been a pleasure asking you a few questions um, congratulations on your new deal, new deal once again. Uh, um, and you, yeah, very congratulations. All the best for the future and hopefully we'll be out there together soon. One day, yeah. Yeah. To you guys back home, Merry Christmas. You know what you're doing? Merry Christmas. Or? It's Christmas, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's, let's spread the love, you know.